Welcome back. Well, Nice Guys opened in theaters over the weekend. Last week, we heard from Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe about their characters. Well, today we hear from the masterminds behind the film. Jim Ferguson has those interviews for us. Yeah, I do. It's Director's Week. Okay, on the, with Jim Ferguson this week. And we have the director of Nice Guy, Shane Black, and the producer, Joel Silver, who, uh, you know, he's right up there with Spielberg, Joel Silver. And are they uh, experienced in buddy movies? They both did the Lethal Weapon series together, director and producer. So with uh, Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. And uh, both of them, uh, you know, Joel, 70 films. Uh, he did The Matrix. Uh, he did Lethal Weapon, as I mentioned, and just so many wonderful films. And sa same with Shane Black, uh, The 300, The Rise of an Empire, Kiss Kiss, Bang Bang. Uh, both of these men are powerful Hollywood moguls, let's put it that way. And here they are to talk about their collaboration with the nice guys. And congratulations to both of you, the nice guys. You took me back, guys, and you grabbed me. What a roller coaster ride. I loved it. Would you both agree, either one of you can answer, that it's it's a mystery, it's action, it's drama, but yet loaded with humor? Yeah. Agree? I, I think Absolutely. That's, <laughs> that's, the that's the key, is to make a stew. You know, you can... Uh, you can you can boil a chicken or you can make a stew and we tried to uh, you know, I think it's it's important that it's a mystery and it's a thriller that if you look there's a plot underneath there somewhere um, the great thing about the Inspector Clouseau movies with Peter Sellers was that he was an idiot he was a complete fool but everyone around him was played straight and the bad guys were bad they were scary and I think we've tried to do a similar thing here there's an Abbott and Costello aspect to this film exactly but yeah. You know, if you see Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, the monsters are really scary. It's only the two leads that, you know. And even then, we gave them the sort of organic friendship that to me feels kind of heartfelt. There is a reality mm -hmm. to it that you wouldn't get if you just sort of plucked two comedians. And, and Joel, you know, uh, of course, Russell and Ryan, uh, they play uh, Healy and uh, Marsh. And Healy. Marsh and Healy. Total misfits? Look, I mean, that's why they work. <laughs> I miss Shane, but it's Shane's voice. I mean, it's Shane's voice, and you know, I mean, it, it, you, I, 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 I look at these lines. When I first read the, Shane's first script, was thirty years ago. Thirty years 30 ago. Thirty years ago. Nineteen eighty-six. I read *Lethal Weapon*, and oh, yeah. and there were lines in that where where Riggs, you know, uh, uh, you know, Riggs says to Murta said to Riggs, "Well, God hates me," and Riggs says, "Well, hate him back. It works for me," you know, or or he says, you know, "Is there anybody you haven't killed?" And Riggs, "Well, I haven't killed you yet." So I mean, e e even though those are Simple little lines. The I mean, of this body. It's absolutely. It's, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, you know, it's 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 just it's a it's a funny concept, and and again, it is a thriller, and it is a mystery, and it is a serious movie with serious actors, but it's unbelievably funny. It's and it, it, it's not a comedy. It's just funny. Sam Spade. Russell's narration, mm -hmm. the detective, you know, it's, it's back to the old TV, uh, the, the L.A. detectives. Yeah, you get Howard Duff playing Sam Howard Spade, Duff. doing that marvelous narration. You've got Margaret Mitchum as Philip Marlowe and Farewell, My Lovely, <laughs> and before him, you know, Dick Powell and, and, and Humphrey Bogart. It's, it's a tradition of kind of wisecracking, world-weary, kind of cynical, but ultimately sort of hopeful uh, philosophy that these guys have in these novels. And I don't know why I've been so drawn to them for so long, or the need is so strong to replicate them on film, but that, Joel has given me the opportunity Please. to do that several times now. Well, twice. <laughs> Maybe three, yeah. And Jimmy, you said he, he rarely does interviews. Well, I was wrong in that. Ah. Years ago, he used to do every film he yeah. made, but he hasn't done one in a while. That's yeah. what I should say. This is the first time I've seen Joel in quite a while, but he loves the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he does very well. So on Friday, though, I know we were talking on commercial break about how many like superhero things that are going on. What do yeah, we have for yeah. Friday? Well, Friday we have the man, one of the men that's responsible. In fact, he wrote it, co-wrote it, and he directed it. Batman versus Superman, Zack Snyder, who has a Tucson connection. His father lives here. He'll be watching oh. the oh. interview on Friday. But uh, did you like Iron Man 3? I don't think I saw Iron Man 3. Did you? I saw Iron Man 3. Yeah, I, okay. My Zach, husband loves all the Iron Man. Yeah, Zach did that stuff, and he's, oh, okay. he's very good at uh, these kinds of films. These uh, Captain Marvel, uh, all, <laughs> all these, that's coming out. That, I just mentioned that, you know. Yep, more. Yeah. But well, these, these uh, comic book hero movies are yeah. very Really hot. hot. They make a lot of money. They yeah. are so hot, and we're talking to the director of Batman versus Superman on Friday.
Yeah, Zach That's Snyder. One. Okay, Zach so Snyder. we will look forward to that. Jim, thank you so much for being here. We always love having you on. And I love being here. I, th <laughs> I think you can tell that, can't you? Oh, well, we love it more. So if you want even more of Jim's celebrity interviews, it's super easy. Just visit our website, TucsonMorningBlend.com, and search for Hollywood Happenings.